also in the stores it can be shipped from other places. So a lot of people like to have it where it's locally grown. So we get quite a bit of business here. Okay, so do you sell to the grocery store? He does. Yes, he does. The owner does sell to the grocery store. But then they also get other produce from outside of what he does not grow. This fruit stand, most of the product is grown by chambers. Well, because it's good for you, you need your fruits and vegetables. That's mostly what we sell. Summertime, a lot of fruit. We sell cantaloupe, muskmelons watermelons. Uh, this time of the year now we're going to start selling our um, squash, which is a fall product, onions, apples, pears. So the owner of this particular fruit stand tries to use as little as pesticide as he can. So it's always better when you know that you've got foods and vegetables that you know are not tainted with chemicals. So he uses a little bit to keep them from the bugs, but not like commercial places that would use a lot of chemicals. So it is better for you. Do you do any processing before you sell them? No. Just pick them up and they bring them in. But um, pretty much it's, it's grown locally. All of the okay. squash, watermelons, everything. And the gourds. Like this one's called a turban squash. Looks like a turban. This one, what do you think that's called? Peanut? Peanut squash, that's right. And then this is called a Hubbard squash. And then you have your um, uh, butternut squash. You have your buttercup squash. You have your acorn squash. This is probably one that most people recognize as the acorn squash. And they cut it in half, put butter and brown sugar in it. So those are all the fall products. And we're just getting done with the summer products, which is, the, uh, you know, like the squash, peppers, eggplant. The, those will be gone now because of the frost. Uh, onions are on right now. Hey, I'm Andrea Bennett. I'm Emily Morrow. Okay. I'm Cindy Reiner. Okay. I'm Allison Lundig. Okay. I'm Allison Becker.